my hair is soft and easy to handle because I give it the required necessary routine for it to get to that point. My hair can become crusty or tangled or looking not nice sometimes. It can be looking rough and everything, but I make sure I take care of it and make sure it's not always in that rough state or that tangled state that can lead to my hair cutting while I comb it. I make sure that my hair is well detangled and nice. I don't even know if my hair is 4C, 4B, 4E, but my hair is natural and the laxer has never been applied on it. So now let me give you tips on how to grow, retain length in your hair while I do some nice hairstyles on my hair. First of all, take care of yourself from inside out. Your inner, the way you take care of your inside also affects your hair growth. This is one of the most important things. Your hair needs water, minerals, and nutrients in order to grow healthy and stay healthy. Your hair cannot receive what you don't give it. If you do not consume essential nutrients, your hair will not flourish on, flourish on the outside. Don't expect your hair to achieve its full potential if you do not take care of your hair and your, and your body. Remember, your hair grows from your body. So eat healthy and work out and consume more water. Another one is wash your hair in sections. You can wash it. Wash your hair in sections. If not, even if, except you detangled your hair before that or you did the pre poo wash your hair in sex, sections. Especially if your hair is very voluminous, wash it in sections. I've seen hairs that are so big that you have to wash in four sections. Sometimes I don't wash my hair in sections because my hair is free and detangled, but you can do that it's better. So, also use the best moisturizers and natural oils use nice good products that works for your hair also deep condition you should make deep conditioning a regular regimen in your hair care regimen i recommend doing so about two to four times per month but i wash i deep condition every time i wash my hair and i wash my hair once a week or once in two weeks depending on my mood or how dirty my hair is using a sulfate free water based condition after thoroughly conditioning your hair, place a plastic cap on your hair and sit under a warm or hot dryer. I don't do that. I just keep it in a plastic bag for 15 to 25 minutes. You can also use a hot towel. After each conditioning treatment, you will notice that your hair becomes more bouncy and lively. pre poo it's very important. Try pre pooing the night before washing your hair or um, 30 minutes for washing your hair this will give your hair added strength and protection preventing damage and breaking from the manipulation of styling ultimately allowing you to retain length manipulate your hair as easy as possible i think this is number six points as i mentioned earlier fussy hair is more fragile than other hair types the more you manipulate your hair the more you will find that your hair breaks tangles and knots the more your hair breaks, the more difficult it becomes to retain that length you're looking for. Another point is style with your fingers. Made shaft splitting can be caused by too much combing and brushing. Keep the use of comb and brushing to a minimum. That's what I do. Even this hairstyle, I'm not really... I just comb my hair. Did I even comb my hair at the beginning? Okay, yeah. I'm just using my hands to pat my hair and all the stuff. It helps a, uh, to add a little oil and also the tangle, keep the tangling your hair with your finger. Reduce the minimal, um, reduce using comb as a minimum. Yeah. So, the next point I will say is wear your hair in protective styles. Twist, bonds, braids, and other bounded styles. Keep the hair in place and preventing tangling and those little annoying knots. Remember those knots on your hair that once you just separate it snaps and cuts your hair the hair tends to break and those annoying knots so we want to avoid this as much as possible those snapping and everything and the breakage takes away your length remember what i said more length retention more growth patience understanding that healthy hair and maximum length will not come overnight and save and <coughs> night will save the discouragement and headache the journey to your hair reaching its maximum potential requires much patience, care, and consistency. So you make sure that once you just follow all these rules I tell you about, it's going to work very well. 
minimize the use of gels minimize the use of gels i don't really if you watch my videos i don't really apply gels in my hair sorry for the background noise i don't really apply gels in my hair try to keep your protective styles for three weeks minimum one week maximum three weeks protective styles have is the highest thing that i've retained length of my hair i remember the, a period where my hair was not yeah, growing that much and i had to just i was just like why is my hair not growing and everything so keep your hair in protective style that might be the one that make your hair grow longer and that's just it don't trim your hair too much you can trim i don't trim my hair that much i trim my hair once a year that's just it and some people they over trim when you go to the salon please be watching when they trim your hair don't allow them to over trim your hair and avoid using hot tools on your hair hair stretcher all those stuffs I avoid it to some hairdressers also use that hot tool on your hair and it becomes very smoky and it's going to spoil your strands and cut your hair to lead to fallout Listen, guys, listen to everything I'm saying and make sure you subscribe to my channel, like and comment. And trust me, with all this process I've told you about, your hair will flourish, your hair will grow. You understand? My hair was not like this before. I was struggling with growth. Now look at my hair. My hair is, if I drag it, it's going to pass my jaw length. So I'm aiming for brow length, but I'm not rushing or rushing myself too much. Even if it's going to take six years, as long as it's going to grow and it's not going to stop at the point, I'm really satisfied with the progress my hair is growing because it keeps growing at the point. I don't, I'm not going to rush it. Handle your ends with care. The ends of your hair are the oldest part of your hair. They are the ones that first grow from your roots. Respect them more. They are the grandma and grandpa. You, they are the ancestors of your hair, so make sure you take care of them very well because they are the oldest part of your hair. Make sure you apply your oil and everything. Thanks for watching my video and ensure you subscribe. Bye.